back to my YouTube channel, hashtag Nurse Goals. It's me, Jamicia, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so let's get straight into this video. So I'm not gonna put like a number on this or anything. I'm just gonna give you ways to keep a positive mindset while you're in nursing school. Now this, these tools, these tips can help you in any situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be in nursing school. I just know nursing school is really, really tough. And baby, you feel like sometimes you can get depressed because it is depressing. Because it's so much, it's like a burden on you. So sometimes like it gets overwhelming. So I'm gonna give you the tips to help you keep a positive mindset and a healthy mentality. All right, so let's start off with first acknowledging that a positive mentality is not like a one-time thing like it's a lifestyle you have to acknowledge that this is a lifestyle that you want to live you want to be a positive person you want people that's around you you want positive things to happen to you this is not just like a one quick scheme type of thing like i want to be positive during nursing school and then after that i'm negative nancy again no i've been through a phase where i was negative okay you hear me like negative all the time like you look at me you, you could tell my whole aura was off and and honestly it doesn't feel good when you carry so much within you and honestly i know a lot of people go through stuff also have to remember that life happens to all of us so it's not just gonna happen to you it happens to every single person that's alive obviously so in order for you to channel or change that energy you have to make this a lifestyle, a constant behavior. That's my first and foremost tip. Okay, the second thing I wanna go over is decluttering your space. I'm just gonna give you a couple examples. You go into your house and let's say you was having a bad day at school and then you get into your house and then your house is filthy. Oh my God. It's the worst feeling ever. It's like, dang, I already had a bad grade today. I've had to deal with this professor, I had to deal with this student, whatever the situation is, you get to your house, it's not clean. That's gonna bring more frustration on top of you, okay? So the first thing I would suggest that you guys do is start to clean up. Mama said, clean up. Clean up your space, clean up your car, because the way that I look at it is like, okay, if my house is a mess, my car is a mess, then that is like a representation of my life. My life is a mess, my life is in shambles, like everything is all over the place. Um, and most likely that's how your mind is, it's just like, I know it's kind of hard to keep your car clean sometimes. I, I guess it depends on the type of person that you are, but like for students who are on the go and who have to work and everything, it's easy, it's so easy to have clothes and shoes and everything in your car. But um, I feel like that would be a, one of the most important steps to do is to try to declutter your space because it helps you feel free, relaxed, calm. You're like, oh my God, like it's like a burden has been lifted off of you. Like an extra like 50 pounds have just dropped. It feels so great when you are in a clean environment, okay? And it makes you happier. Like I know it sounds crazy, but um, it makes you just feel so good to be clean. It's just like after you take a shower, like you just feel good. It makes you feel so good that everything around you is nice and neat and clean and it's just free of clutter, free of dirt. And in your mind, you're just like, okay, free of negativity, you know? So um, that's one of the things that I would recommend, which ties into my third thing I recommend. Um, not only do you wanna clean up your space and your kitchen, but baby, you gotta remove those toxic people that's in your life. And that's just straight up, I know that should have been number one, but at the end of the day, you got to remove these people out of your life. Whatever and whoever you surround yourself around, it is contagious, baby. I can tell you this quick story about me that happened. I was around my friend, um, she still is a good friend of mine, but it was so much negative things that were going on in her life. She had a negative like vibe or like a negative like aura that was just around her and it rubbed off on me and it wasn't like I was being negative to other people or anything like that it was just I would go home and I would just be sad for no reason like I would be crying for no reason I'm just like I don't understand but it was it'll be right after I leave her presence like that's how strong it was and I was like I don't understand like 
like I was just good like I'm chilling like why am I like feeling so bad you know and it's because it is I was spending so much time with her and it was rubbing out it wasn't the other way around normally I'm a type of person like my energy you know I'm real hype my um uh, my vibes and everything kind of rub off on other people baby did I get a lesson yes I learned a lesson in that moment to not I mean it's okay to be around people but um one thing I realized that I do if somebody's talking to me about something negative I tell them I said baby look I'm sorry I love you but um if you want to come around me every single time you come to me every single time you talk to me every time you call me eh, it's negative you gotta go and it might hurt, honestly, it might hurt to remove some friends because you really feel like those people are genuine. But at the same time, you have to secure your own happiness. Your happiness is what's going to give you a positive mindset. Your happiness is what's going to shift your mentality from all of this negativity. It's, it's going to help you until you are strong enough to be around these people to where you are influencing them to become better people or to live a, a healthier life. And sometimes people are just not ready to move forward. Like when you're ready to let go of all the negativity, that doesn't mean that your friend is ready either. You know, so sometimes we as people, we mature faster than people, the other people. Sometimes we want to do separate things and we want to boss up, you know, we want to get our own coin. We want, you know, we want to just do things that that are different you know we, we don't want to do the same things over and over and over we want to progress in life we want to become something we don't want to be stuck in the same place and in order for you to not to be stuck in the same place you have to not be stuck in the same mentality you have to change your mentality that's just what it is so um that's my third tip like you have to cut off toxic people okay you don't want to be around toxicity it's not healthy at all like it can rub off on you and also it can leave you stagnant it can leave you right where you are this is how you can tell if somebody's toxic if you share something with them they point out the negative thing about that oh my god and if, if you're around somebody who always points or sees the negative with everything that is toxic okay you need to be that person to find something positive out of everything because if you can see something negative out of everything you can see something positive out of everything that's just what it is for whatever's going on, find something good out of that situation. Thrive on that good and then move forward. Let's go to number four. So as nursing students, we get so caught up with um, learning and reading and studying and everything nursing. We get so caught up with that until you realize that, dang, like I don't have a life. Like nursing school is my life, you know? So what I would encourage you guys to do is to engage in a different activity outside of nursing school okay i know it might seem hard but you have time to do it um if you set your schedule or whatever to do it you have to make time to engage outside of nursing school so rather that reading a book going for a walk watching a movie i'm meditating your brain needs some time to rest so if you're doing something that's outside of nursing school, it's going to help a lot, trust me. And then when you come back to nursing school, you're going to ace everything. You're going to feel good. You're going to be on the right path. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is kind of go hand in hand with engaging into activities outside of nursing school. Start like a self-care regimen because when you look good, you feel good, baby. So make sure that you are making sure that your skin is soft, making sure you smelling good, keep that hair done. If you got to wear a little makeup, do what you got to do. Bring you a tub of soapy water, um, light some candles, anything that gets you in your zen, do it. Anything that's going to get you relaxed and having a peace of mind, that's what you need to be indulging yourself in, okay? Have that little special treat that candy that you've been craving for a while and you feel guilty have a have your little guilty pleasure it's fine all right so let's move on to the next one eating healthy and working out now i know this is a really really tough one for people to do i mean for me i can say that it took me a long time to get back in the gym it took me a long time to start eating like i'm supposed to be eating but 
let me tell you something it makes you have so much energy you're always gonna be smiling just feeling good like i'm always like ah you know so um working out not only does it make your body snatch baby it just gives you that energy and then it helps you focus on something else that's not toxic that's not negative so um which also brings more oxygen to your brain cells which also increases your processing of knowledge come on guys we're nursing school we know how this stuff works i don't even have to tell you you already knew this you just had to come on this video to see my face let's not be one of those people who say oh i don't have time to work out oh, i don't have time to read another book besides my nursing book i don't have time to do these I look you make time for what you want to make time for and if you want to have a positive mentality a positive mindset make time for you baby make time for you okay you make time for your friends you make time for your man make time for yourself okay because you are important remember that so if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you didn't like it anyways um, go ahead and subscribe leave a comment down below if you want to see more juicy topics like this or if you have any recommendations please feel free to let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces